Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share with you guys how I decorated my cap for graduation. And yes, in case you guys were wondering, my husband and I did graduate from Hogwarts. As you can clearly tell from our super cool robes. Anyways, let's get started. I actually got all of my decorations from Hobby Lobby. I would definitely suggest waiting for their sales. They do have quite a few sales throughout the year. Um, I got most of my stuff for 40 to 50% off, so I would definitely wait to take advantage of those. All right, so for this project, I ended up using, of course, a graduation cap, a decorative scrapbook paper, a glue of your choice, letter stickers, gemstones, paper flowers, and an X-Acto knife. And I actually found all of these decorations in the scrapbook aisle. And I would also suggest using a protected surface. I am just using this, I guess it's like a rubber mat so that I can protect my carpet. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to trim the scrapbook paper according to size. So I'm just putting the graduation cap on top and just gently lining where I should aim to cut. Then taking my X-Acto knife, I'm just tracing along the edge of the graduation cap. Just be careful not to actually cut the graduation cap. So I am just leaving just barely enough room just to avoid that risk. Now to cut out that little centerpiece at the top of your graduation cap, I decided to use a quarter because they're actually roughly about the same size. And I thought that kind of gave it a cleaner edge than trying to poke through with it with a scissor like I've seen some of the other tutorials on here on YouTube doing. So that's what I did. I just traced it, made sure it was around the center of the scrap of paper. And just to make extra sure, I actually used a measuring tape to make sure that that circle was generally in the same position as that little circle thing on top of your graduation cap, as you see here. After I've made sure that the circle is in the correct position, I just trace around it with my X-Acto knife again and carve out that perfect little circle. Now you don't want to go ahead and glue down the scrapbook paper yet. You want to wait until you're completely finished to make sure you're completely happy with the end result. Otherwise you're going to have to throw away the whole graduation cap and that would be a total waste. So. Yes, definitely wait until you're completely done with the design and then glue it on. So now is the time to get creative. You can put a quote on your cap, a picture, um, photographs, stickers, whatever you like. This is a chance to let your individuality and creativity shine through. I just went ahead with this quote from Walt Disney. I was originally going to go with a much longer quote but it just looked really crowded on the cap so I suggest going with like a shorter quote so it doesn't seem super crowded and people can read it from the audience or the graduation stands you know what I mean so yes so I'm just laying everything out and once I've laid out the general design of the cap I just went ahead and stuck everything on there. These are stickers, so obviously they will stick, but you want them to be able to hold throughout the whole graduation ceremony, so I did reinforce them with some glue. Once you are completely satisfied with your design, you can go ahead and glue it on your cap, but please make sure you glue it in the right direction. The scrunchy part of the graduation cap should be at the bottom of your design so that when you wear your graduation cap, it should look a little something like this. To glue down my design, I'm just using my trusty old hot glue gun. I also glued down the little circle that we cut out earlier. To add even more bling, I decided to use these little gemstone stickers. They come in these little strips, and these were actually iridescent multicolored ones. And here I'm just matching up which color would look best with this scrap of paper. And I ended up going with this really pretty iridescent lavender color. And I'm just gonna go along the edge of the graduation cap and kind of create a really glittery border. 
You know me, I just can't get enough of glitter apparently. These gemstones are sticky, but I did reinforce them with a little bit of hot glue just to make sure that they didn't peel off during the graduation ceremony. And just when you thought I was done with the gemstones, I decide to add more. These are just a little bit larger than the ones that I used for the border and I'm just kind of tearing off one by one and placing them in between the flowers and just randomly throughout the graduation cap. I'm keeping them quite spread apart because I don't want it to be too much, says the girl with gemstones and glitter galore, but you know, you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm so sorry, but I guess my camera did not catch me decorating the actual Mickey Mouse ears that you see down there. I did end up putting a gemstone border around the Mickey Mouse ears as well. At this point, I just went ahead and attached my tassel. And I noticed that there was this weird gap um, between the lettering. It was kind of in the center of the cap, but a little bit lower, so I decided to add this huge iridescent glittery heart sticker. Um, it's actually a foam sticker so it looks really like 3D and really cool so I really liked it. And I decided to place it just a little bit lower so that that gap isn't as noticeable. And finally you are done! I literally put this together the night before my graduation. I was stressing out so bad on how to decorate my cap, but I hope that this tutorial kind of helps you with that stress and gives you kind of like an idea, you know, a little bit of inspiration on how to decorate your cap. And also, if you're graduating, I just wanted to say a big congratulations to you. And also, congrats to my fellow classmates of 2019, my fellow graduates. Uh, go us. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!